I'm Cindy McGee, and you're watching Polymer Clay TV. Today's project is inspired by the beautiful fabric on these pillows. For the base layer, I'm using Primo Sculpey White, which I've conditioned and rolled to a 4 on my Atlas machine. I'm using the Monstera Leaf Silkscreen from createalong.com, an assortment of mica powders. Some of these are from createalong.com and um, some yellow pan pastel because I don't have any mica powder in that color and this is all based upon that original fabric that I found. I like to just smooth my silk screen down to the clay a little. You want to place it with the colored side against the clay. Now you can use an applicator but I like to use my fingers when I'm working with this type of thing and I'm just using that original image as the inspiration and I'm going to begin adding the mica powders to leaves here and there. Once you're finished with this, just carefully lift off that silk screen, but don't wash it. Set it aside, because what we're going to do is flip over the silk screened piece of clay and then just press this against the back and it will transfer any of that extra powder and make a really pretty multicolored background. And here it is after I've applied the mica powder. I like to place a piece of parchment paper over it and just press down to set that mica powder a little and then flip it over and apply the silk screen with the extra powder on it to the back. This is the portion of the video that I somehow deleted, so my apologies for that. Then choose your favorite cutters and cut out the elements for the jewelry that you want to make. I'm using an assortment of cutters from Create Along. These are the teardrop cutters. I'm also going to use the set of Manta bib cutters. This is a really unique shape. I'm just going to choose the spot that has the colors that I want for this pair of earrings. I used one of the wide diamond marquees from that set from Create Along. I also used one of the cutters from the Petals set and then I cut some round pieces. Bake them all according to the manufacturer's instructions and let them cool. Now that they've baked and cooled, I'm going to assemble one of the pair of earrings for you. We've got that really pretty shimmery multicolor effect and the backs are almost as pretty as the fronts. I'm using some liquid clear Sculpey and I'm just going to use my liquid clay dedicated brush to apply that to the surface of each of these pieces and I'm going to bake it according to the manufacturer's instructions. And then I'm going to come back and apply it to the back of each of these pieces and again bake it according to the manufacturer's instructions. It's a heat tool to apply heat very quickly when they come out of the oven you'll get a great glossy shine. To outline the edges a bit, I'm using DecoArt Metallic Luster and this is the Elegant Emerald Green. I'm going to use an applicator for this. If your metallic lusters get dried out, you can add a little water and they will revitalize for you. Just apply it to the outer edges of all of the pieces. I made a couple of little tassels with some sari ribbon that matched the colors that I wanted and just wire wrap them. Clearly my wire wrapping skills could use some practice. 
and I'm going to go ahead and assemble these earrings the way I want them to be. I used my small Dremel drill to make the holes and I'm just going to show you the process that I use to assemble mine. Now I'm using silver findings. You can use whatever you choose.
And here is one of the pair of finished earrings. They're really kind of fun and unexpected with that funky little tassel. They've got a great boho vibe. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more inspiration, visit our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook group. You'll also find lots more free tutorials on our Create Along blog.